Ireland. I am Siddiq Ahmed Khan from thespartic.com. We are a branding consultancy firm works in Asia and Middle East. How are you? Today is a very important session. Yes, we are going to speak to the business persons, to the entrepreneurs, business graduates and those who are looking for jobs. Yes, I will seriously recommend please watch our video till end so you will get a lot of information about businesses. There is no doubt global economy is shifting to Asia. Yes, after 200 years in Atlantic, then Europe and finally economy the, the economic monster is coming to Asia. When I say Asia, some big giants names appear in your mind. Yes, Russia, China, India, Pakistan and in Middle East, no doubt Saudi Arabia with Vision 2030 and UAE where Dubai and Abu Dhabi are the most popular destinations for business persons. Guys, what is happening in Asia is very important. It's really amazing one belt, one road. And you know, in the human history, since the day we started living on this planet, this is the, this is the largest project on this planet in terms of money, in terms of size, in terms of length, in terms of infrastructure, possibilities, opportunities, and much more. If you don't know one belt, one road, OBOR, you know nothing about tomorrow's business. And I seriously believe you know already a lot about one belt, one road. But do not ignore CPAC. CPAC is the, the C, connectivity to one belt, one road. And this is a very important C area where this CPAC is going to end up or going to start. What is CPAC? It's China, Pakistan, economic corridor. Yes, it's 2,400 kilometer long connectivity between C, Arabian Sea and OBOR, One Belt, One Road. One Belt, One Road is connecting 130 countries with one road. Just remember, a new triangle has been generated, created, which is Russia, China and Pakistan. There is a huge diversified market. Languages all are different. Russians, Chinese and Urdu in Pakistan. Cultures entirely different. Their religions are completely different. What is common in this triangle is economy. These three regions have shaken hand and this is a new triangle. Yes, so what's your plan? Are you looking for a job? Yes, this is going to be either you say second Dubai or much more attractive destinations better than Dubai. Are you looking for starting up a, a branch? Yes, if you start a branch in Pakistan, in Gawadar, which is the, the capital of the CPEC project, yes, you can uh, reach 130 very attractive countries, beautiful lands and economies by road even, by train, by air, by sea. These four mediums are only possible from the city Gawadar and the country Pakistan. Now the question is where to invest money in Pakistan, in CPAC, in Gawadar. If you are a business person, I could say with a great confidence, don't underestimate my words today, Pakistan is a virtual market. Yes, few in multinationals are working here already for, for last 30, 40, 50 years, but still there is a huge gap. There is a huge welcome uh, to the new business businesses and the new ideas and the new services. Many services uh, don't exist even in Pakistan. Any logistics company coming with the uh, ultra modern uh, transport system and uh, with ultra modern uh, vehicles and uh, their, their softwares, I, I seriously believe there is a huge gap for logistics and manpower. 
I think you are familiar with the Pakistani manpower. Uh, it's uh, only, let's say, in Saudi Arabia, around 2 million plus states, Canada, uh, Middle East, even in Asia. So uh, what you will, would get easily and you would be very happy once you start a business in Pakistan, Pakistani manpower, which is challenging, affordable, skilled, and hardworking. These four attributes you would enjoy if you invest money in this part. Tourism. I think tourism is on its peak around the world. Dubai, amazing. Sri Lanka, India, incredible India. Then you go to Poland, Finland, Russia, UK, London, one of the most uh, strongest uh, city brand. New York, uh, Canada. But Pakistan, tourism, again, water market. I would just give you two references on the spantic.com. Please, if you have time, just go to the blog section, have a look at one blog, uh, where to visit Kumarat or Chitra. I, I, I wrote some uh, important information in it. Second thing, a Pakistani last summer in 2017, only one small region received more than 3 million domestic tourists. So just imagine, as till today, it's not uh, been uh, regularized well, uh, it's not facilitated well, so any international investment in tourism uh, would definitely be secure. Because the nation loves uh, outdoors, uh, trips, uh, amusements, uh, the, the most, uh, there are too many kids. So if you invest in the kids industry, in kind of Disneyland type of project, and great amusement park, so uh, there is a huge ROI. Education is also very important sector where any business person could invest in education. You could bring a franchisee or a branch of your university or school chain system and too many students and being uh, a part of education industry for uh, 10 to 12 years, I could tell you seriously there is a gap for quality education. Yes, uh, people are already having branches, and if I say branches, only in uh, one province, uh, schools have around 700, 800, 900 branches. I don't know if it's possible in other parts of the world, but 900 branches of a school, even this, is, this uh, school chain doesn't cover the whole country. Just imagine if they are covering the whole country, it means they have 1,800 or 2,000 branches. So just imagine if you are coming with a school chain and you really have a good reputation so you could enjoy a very uh, attractive uh, profitability if you deliver a quality education. When you're talking about 210 million population market, so what does it mean? It means if you establish your own manufacturing unit here, you would uh, save uh, taxations, uh, time cost, labor cost, and much more uh, because uh, you don't need to have your factory in Austria or in uh, let's say Germany and export the material to Pakistan or in China even if you have a factory in China just to cover this local market the demands you could easily establish one factory in Pakistan agriculture you know Pakistani agriculture we have the largest canal system in the world we have the one of the best rice uh, brands, uh, mangoes, wheat, uh, cotton. So if you are agriculture business person and you, you are seeing the possibilities around the world, so I would seriously uh, tell you, uh, just check if you want to cultivate olives. Government is facilitating olive investors too much. Please, dairy farming, government is uh, really giving attractive packages to them. So have a look, have a, a look into the, into the areas and you would find a lot of opportunities. The most uh, challenging uh, for us today is energy oil industry mining, where we don't find too much expertise locally. So I think this is the, the, the sector where all foreign investment is uh, seriously needed. There is no doubt energy crisis in Pakistan and it means there is a gap to invest and to be profitable. Very important to mention, sports. There are only very few, 5, 7, 10, 20 or less than 20 
uh, official formal clubs in Pakistan. But overall, maybe we have 10, 15 sports, and maybe there each area there is a possibility of 20 clubs. So what I estimated as a branding consultant, approximately 300 to 500 new clubs will be born very soon, in the next three to four to five years. This is happening. New stadiums are under construction. A sports complex governments are spending money on them. So youth is getting attracted to such areas. So business I men, business person, there is a lot of opportunity in sports sectors as well. But your question is, why Pakistan? Just have a look onto the map. You don't need answer from my side. But why Pakistan? Why not India? Why not China? Rise of China, rise of India. It's an old story today. Today, 2018, I'm talking about rise of Pakistan. Why? It's a larger market in terms of foreign investment, in terms of possibilities and opportunities. It is a larger market. Today, the country is stable country. Economy is rising, but this is geographically speaking, this is a main hub between India and China and Russia and Iran and C. So it makes this region, this, this particular country, very valuable connectivity to the global connectivity. 210 million population means what? Yes, China is a bigger population and uh, India is much bigger population than Pakistan. But this population is one nation, one language, more or less, more than 80%, same traditions, food is same, culture is same, there is no much diversity, so it makes it one unit. I just give you one example. If you go back last year, T20 final, please Google it and check how many viewers were watching that event. It reaches up to 800 to 1 billion views because Pakistan was in the final game. And if Pakistan is not in the final game, the viewership will fall up to 200, 300 million only, 400 million only. So the presence of Pakistani cricket team in the event made it so valuable, so attractive to the rest of the world. And although the, the views were from the, those who love cricket, so this is 210 million immediately get involved in one event. So that, that is very uh, unique uh, power or unique attribute in this local market. But what is most important is 60% population, more or less, fall between 15 to 40 years of age. Such a big chunk of youth. So just in one country, you invest your money and you see there are 60%, which makes 100 million plus young people in one country. Imagine how many mobile sims you can sell. Imagine how many cell phones you can sell. How many sports dresses you can sell. How many amusement parks, paintball, the resorts or uh, activities you can sell. This is a huge number in one place to sell. Because diversification is not too much, so you don't, your one strategy might be effective in this region. Take a Pakistani partner or 100% in foreign investment is possible. Government is giving a lot of benefits if you want to start with 100% foreign. But if you take a Pakistani partner, still the market will be very much welcoming you. There are special economics coming 10 years, they're not going to pay any tax. Tax free for 10 years, at 10 years you will be able enough to be profitable. Let me say, with very strong recommendation, it's the gateway to the global markets today. Because if you establish your business in India, you won't be able to use one belt, one road with a minimal cost. If you establish in Iran, still, if you are in China, still, you are going to face a lot of challenges. But if you are in Goa, in Pakistan, and you are connected to the CPAC, 
amazing. Yes, there would be a very great train system connected to this region, a very good highways, so uh, business and uh, tourism mobility will be much easier than ever in the past. Before I close this today's video, do not ignore Gwadar. It's really amazing opportunity for business persons, business graduates, and entrepreneurs. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you got a lot of information about the region, about the business. Share us. Don't forget to subscribe us for more videos from Spanty.com. Thank you very much once again. Bye-bye.